I'm Marley. Hi, I'm Mackenzie. Hi, I'm Annika. And we're M. M. A. Now, we all hope you're having a super safe, healthy, and productive summer. And as you may expect, going back to classes in the fall is going to look a little different than last year. Today, we'll be demonstrating the three most common types of courses, otherwise known as modalities, that you'll be experiencing when we go back to school. Hey, Mackenzie, Mackenzie, aren't you going to get up? Well, why would I get up? It's only 4.25 p.m. Um, because first of all, that's a ridiculous hour to sleep till, and second, because you have an honor symposium. No, what are you talking about, Annika? All my classes are online now. I don't have to worry about getting up to go to class. No, honor symposium and some of your other classes are synchronous classes, meaning that you have to attend live lectures held during your class time. Well, how was I supposed to know that? Now I have to get on to class in five? Mackenzie's class in this case is a synchronous class, which means it meets online at the same time it would otherwise meet in person. Now, in order to tell if you have a class that was offered in this modality, on my CCS it will be listed as the regular class time and day, but the room location will be listed as TVA. And just like real life, you should plan to set an alarm to get to your class on time so you don't miss any lectures, assignments, or exams. Now, lesson to know for Mackenzie, she had a responsible and reliable friend to remind her to get to class on time. Okay, Mackenzie, you have to go to class now. Wait, you actually have to go to class? That's so pre-pandemic. All of my classes are completely online, so I can do my schoolwork whenever I want. I mean, you still have deadlines, even though you don't have to be in class on specific days and times. Deadlines? Nope. Never heard of them. Yes, you have. Mackenzie's class, which is held completely online on this case, is different than the synchronous mode of classes. This means that there are no specified times to meet online or in person. Now, contrary to what Mackenzie thinks, you're still going to have deadlines for certain assignments, so make sure you mark those down and keep track of those. In order to tell that your classes may look like this for the fall semester, on my UCF, it will simply have it listed as online. BRB, Annika, I have to go to physics. Wait, you're actually leaving to go to class? There's a pandemic going on outside. Don't worry, Annika. Me and my classmates all stay six feet apart. And look, I'm taking my mask with me. Oh, okay, cool. So your physics class is just normal in person without any real online components then. Exactly. Now, in this last scenario, Mackenzie's class is offered as a traditional college class, although with some modifications. Now, this means depending on your professor, you may have certain lectures in person, exams, or assignments. It all varies based on the course and professor. Now, in order to tell if you have this modality of class, on my UCF, it'll have the physical location right next to the time and day that this class is offered. Now, just a reminder, we are following social distance guidelines, so the number of students in these classes have been reduced. Another reminder to keep wearing your mask and to frequently wash your hands. And if you need a reminder on how long to do it, just uh, sing the UCF fight song right in your head. Those are just a few of the types of class modalities that you will be encountering when coming back to UCF in the fall. As you may have seen from the provost email, there's also a brand new modality of course called Lenflex. In Lenflex courses, online learning and face-to-face -face instruction are combined. Faculty can choose to break classes up into multiple sections. For example, one third of the students in a Monday, Wednesday, Friday class could go to class in person on Monday. A second group could go on Wednesday and a third group could go on Friday. All of the classes would be video recorded so students can watch them when they are not coming in person. Now when you be your schedule, any Blendflex model classes will be among the classes designated as a face-to-face -face modality. Now classes that will follow the Blendflex model will have their notes added in my UCF to indicate that the class will follow that approach. We know that this has been a difficult time with all the uncertainty right now, but we hope that this gave you some clarification on what to expect. 
We recommend saving the provost email and referring to it when you need to, as it contains important information and links to helpful resources. As always, be sure that you check back on my UCF before the fall semester begins, just to ensure there are no changes to modality or location for your classes. And if you have any questions or feel uncertain with how your classes are going to be delivered, reach out to your instructors. And as always, study hard. See you soon. Bye.